It's our Vice President Kamala Harris. She's there attending the Munich Security Conference. She will be meeting with political, defense, and intelligence leaders during the trip. She's also scheduled to address the major European Security Conference. That is on Saturday. Some are calling this visit her most critical foreign trip since the 2020 election. Vice President Harris also expected to discuss Washington's future support for Ukraine as Putin's war nears the one-year mark. And now to the latest in Putin's wars. Russia continues its offensive against Ukraine with new attacks overnight. The Kremlin is also reportedly operating a systematic network of camps and facilities that facilitate the re-education and adoption of children from the Ukraine. Major concern about this. Let's get you live to Lviv with the very latest. Our correspondent Shelby Wilder has been tracking this. Shelby, good to see you. Hi, Bianca. Good to see you. Well, to bring you up to date on the situation here on the ground, overnight, Russia launched a fresh wave of attacks. We know that 36 missiles were fired at the country. 16 of those were shot down, but they did strike critical infrastructure. We know that at least one person was killed, numerous injured in central Ukraine. And even here in western Ukraine, in Lviv, where we are reporting from, we were woken in the middle of the night by air raid sirens as missiles were in the air. But to go back to what you were talking about, what we have been following is this report that was published by the Conflict Observatory. This is an American NGO backed by the U.S. State Department. And what they found in this report is that over 6,000 Ukrainian children have been held in camps, 43 camps and child custody facilities by the Russian government. This is since the full-scale invasion began almost one year ago. Now, the Yale Research Humanitarian Lab helped compile this data. And what they found is that these holding facilities stretch from Ukraine's Russian-occupied Crimea to mainland Russia and to Siberia. What the apparent goal of these camps is, is really, first of all, to relocate Ukrainian children, but also to re-educate them, essentially trying to make them Russian. And what we have seen is that there's also been an expedited process of adopting Ukrainian children by Russia. Now, this sprawling operation is being led by the top tiers of the Kremlin. This is a state-sponsored program. And really, it just adds to Russia's growing list of atrocities that have been committed here in Ukraine. Over 65,000 war crimes have been documented in Ukraine so far. But going back to this report, what's particularly horrifying is that in two of these camps, in Crimea and Chechnya, it was found that these children were being subjected to military training and education. These children were being taught about firearms and military vehicles and so forth. And the, the age of these children ranges from just mere months to up to 17 years old. Now, we did hear the U.S. State Department address the situation this week in a briefing. Their spokesperson, Ned Price, said in a statement that, quote, the system was a part of the Kremlin's systemic efforts to suppress and deny Ukrainian identity, culture and history. He also added that Russia's actions breached the Geneva Convention and that Putin's atrocities here will have impacts on Ukrainian children for generations to come. So as this report really comes to light, it's just heartbreaking to find out what's happening at present with Ukrainian children in these Russian camps. Back to you, Bianca. It sure is. Uh, Shelby Wilder in Lviv for us this evening. Thank you, Shelby.